Hello all. I know it has been a couple of weeks. I hope you guys have been enjoying the holiday season. The kids just went back to school today after their long break, and so we are getting back into the swing of things over here. I appreciate you guys being patient while I spend time with them and get the next video ready. So without further ado, today I want to take you guys on a little bin excursion. Over break, the family and I went to the Goodwill bins in Gary, Indiana. You can see them there getting ready to march in and look for adventures and treasures. If you guys aren't familiar with the Goodwill bins, this is a large outlet. You pay for items by the pound. You pay $1.49 per pound. Furniture is priced separately, usually just a few bucks. But this is a great way to find some bargains. It is quite the adventure. I'm excited to take you guys in and kind of show you what this looks like. So when I say the Goodwill bins, I mean literally. They bring out large bins. There are probably at least 20 of these large bins in this huge warehouse. And they are just stacked to the brim with what my husband says is trash, but we know that he doesn't have the eye that we do. So we see lots of treasures waiting to be found. The kids love going because they love searching the clothes and of course finding all kinds of kitschy artwork and things like that for their rooms. We did find this really cool paint by number. My daughter has actually asked if I would sell that for her. My favorite part is the books. Um, books are right around 50 cents each, depending on if it's hardcover or soft. And they have three or four really large bins of books that you can go through. I absolutely love this part because I can find all kinds of not only vintage books for resale, but I find a lot for my own library. I do really like finding the old children's books. I have found so many books from my childhood in these bins. So it is a really great way to build up your little own library. If you are an avid reader, you just never know what you are going to find. Here's just a few that I added to my cart. I always grab old gardening books. These were really sweet ones geared towards children. But I keep most of these, any um, vintage gardening or herb related. I like to grab also anything with old Christmas um, because I can use that in my crafting or um, if it's in good shape, resell it. I did grab this old Ideals Christmas magazine and I did grab that really cute um, Raggedy Ann rainbow book that you saw just before that. It's by far my favorite part of the bins because there are not as many people digging in the books. They tend to be real hot spots when the bins first come out, but then it really kind of dies off. And so if you like kind of rummaging in peace, the books are perfect. I love because there's always so many different kinds of records. I did grab that cool burlesque record and I grabbed kind of a bunch of boho decorations. I got some wicker pieces. We did look at those little ears, um, but they did have a lot of damage to them. But any kind of wicker gardening pieces like that, I grab. It's lightweight. Um, oh, and there's the mister. He's having a great time. He's worried about germs in the bins. Um, but it's just so random. We found this really cool Dean Martin record, and my son's nickname is actually Dino. Uh, so he was really excited to find a record that had his nickname on it. But it's really, you know, it's a crapshoot about what you're going to find. You can find kitchenwares, and you guys can see, I tried to show you how big this place is um, without showing all of the other customers um, there. But, I mean, you guys can see, it is just mountains upon mountains of stuff. So if you go, you want to plan on spending a good couple of hours. Not only does it take that long, sorry about that, my hand got in the way. Not only does it take that long to go through, um, but they change the bins out. So about every 45 minutes, 
you hear kind of this large trumpety sound. <laughs> And that announces that they're getting ready to switch the bins out. So they'll pull them out of the way and they will bring in fresh merchandise for you to dig through. You'll notice there is a lot of kids stuff, a lot of games, plushes, things like that. I found this little Taco Bell Chihuahua. I was telling the kids, I, at least I think that's him, how popular he was in the 90s. Um, the kids did put together quite a stash of clothing. They love any of the older t-shirts that feature musicians or bands or things like that. I thought that shelf was kind of cool. I thought that luggage piece was kind of cool. They were both a little heavy. My kids were fascinated because there was a surplus of the vintage food, um, fruit, fruit bowl fruit. So there were tons of these like rubbery grapes that they were just cracking up at. And then I had to explain these VHS stickers to them and how we would use them to mark what was on our VHS tape. And they thought that was just hilarious. I did find a collection of old greeting cards. It looked like someone collected greeting cards for a long time to have them on hand for every occasion. They were all divided up by occasion. So I did grab a bunch of those. You guys know I love old greeting cards. I need to get better about sending them, but I do have a bunch. Here you can see the new bins coming out. Everyone has to stand behind the yellow line. You are not allowed to go over the line while they are bringing the bins out. They are very serious about that. I did find this old scratch and sniff book and I had this when I was little. My sisters and I were going crazy when I sent them pictures because they said they could still smell that little root beer icicle hanging down. So I did grab that. It's so funny how smell can take you right back to your childhood. A few other little vintage kind of toy pieces, this little, um, oh, what are those? Cabbage Patch Kids. And I did also get this little box. It did not have any of the sewing supplies in it, but I did love it just because of the box. And because it weighed almost nothing, it made its way into my cart. Unfortunately, that little TV Fisher-Price toy was broken. People really stock up on the toys. I mean, there's so many to choose from, and I imagine, you know, a lot of them can be cleaned up. Now, this is one of those random things I have to show you. There was a gasoline can. It had gasoline in it. Look at my son. He is like, what is going on here? So you, you can find some, you know, kind of grody things in there, but I did find some little vintage plushes. I got that little lady from Lady and the Tramp, and that is a little German teddy bear. There's my two teddy bears sitting there waiting for all the girls to finish shopping. But I'm such a sucker for old graphics. I love things which has beautiful old graphics on it, like this record. I also got this little white metal candle holder. And I did also get a bunch of old cookbooks. Because I can only, you know, I only have to pay about 50 cents for these, I do grab them because the resale value is excellent. Even if I only make $10, $15 off of one, it's a nice quick little flip. But here are some of the books that I did grab. I did, of course, grab that Raggedy Ann and I got some old cookbooks. There's a neat old Russian cookbook that was in there that also had recipes from Ukraine. I did get a lot of the wicker and just kind of the fake plants things to use in decorating and I was really excited about finding this bear now normally I don't do a whole lot with plushes I'm sorry my dogs are sneezing <laughs> but this little guy had the tag on him and he's kind of almost like a stife bear so I did grab him I did also find a really neat collection of old greeting cards that were illustrations done of places in Chicago I thought those were really cool so as you can see, I just got a whole hodgepodge with all of the clothes and all of the things that I bought. We ended up spending, I want to say, around $75. I've already sold quite a few books to make that money back and then some, plus we have all the treasures we are keeping for ourselves. 
So there you have it. Remember, you can visit my blog anytime at thehomespunhydrangea.com. As always, like and subscribe if you like what you see. I hope you've had fun shopping the bins with me. Tell me if you saw anything that I missed. I'll see you guys next time. Happy thrifting.